Welcome to Getting Started with the Akamai CLI. I am Mike Ellison, a developer advocate at Akamai Technologies, and today I will be guiding you through the short tutorial on how to get started with the Akamai CLI, which is also known as the Akamai command line interface. Akamai offers a rich library of approximately 100 different APIs, and through the Akamai CLI, which basically acts as a wrapper for the majority of these APIs, you are able to manage your Akamai solutions easier, faster, and in a more automated way. The Akamai CLI is free to use and comes pre-installed in the Akamai development environment. Please watch the video getting started with the Akamai development environment for instructions on how to install it. Once installed, you will have the core Akamai CLI installed. The Akamai CLI can be extended with CLI packages which contain different functionality. For instance, the Perch package offers the ability to purge content from Akamai Edge servers, and the Application Security, or AppSec, package will allow you to manage your Akamai security configurations. By default, each package comes with the Akamai package name help option to see the possible commands. Please keep in mind that each request you make through the Akamai CLI needs to be properly authenticated with Akamai Edge Grid. Once you have created an Akamai API client, you should be able to start making your first API request or CLI request. If you are looking for help on how to create an API client, please watch the video Getting Started with Akamai APIs Creating an API Client. This will also work for the Akamai CLI. We need to modify our .hrc file in the root in order to set up the credentials properly. Ensure that you add in default as well as the other sections, for instance, CCU for perching, to use the Akamai CLI. Now that we have all of that configured, let's get started with the Akamai CLI. In this basic example, we will be using the Akamai perch package to perch content from the edge. And we have a test image called Schrodinger's cat.png through this curl command, which is another great tool to have in your toolbox, we can run the Akamai request with the Akamai Pragma headers. And here we can observe the X cache hit, which means that the image is actually in cache. By running the command Akamai perch invalidate with the right URL, we can send in the perch request. Of course, you will need to ensure that your API request has actually proper rewrite permissions to perch. Let's run the perch request, and as you can see here, it took roughly five seconds to complete. Let's run another curl request to show that the image is no longer in cache. Here you can observe the X cache miss header, which means that the image is no longer in cache. And there we have it. We have installed the Akamai CLI and used the perch package to perch content from the Akamai servers. You are now able to dive deeper and install different packages to manage your Akamai solutions. There's a wide variety of packages available, and I encourage you to take a look and see what can help you on your path. I hope this tutorial on getting started with the Akamai CLI has been helpful for you and has given you the knowledge to start using the Akamai CLI. For more content, please visit the developer.akamai.com where you can find more tutorials and information. If you have any questions on Akamai Developer, please feel free to reach out. You can find me on social media, media under the handle at Akamai Mike. I want to thank you very much for your time today and hope to see you again in our other tutorials. Good luck and happy Akamizing!